Hello all, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to do a little update on the uh, 71 Ford Bronco known as Black Betty. Last time I had a video on her, she wouldn't start. And I had a lot of trouble at Supercell last year with uh, the fuel system. So I got mad, came home, dropped her off of the shop. I said, I want from tank up to the motor, all brand new. So here's what we did. Got the motor rebuilt. Uh, didn't do anything, put a rolling cam on it, didn't do anything too crazy, put a rolling cam on it, boarded out just no more than 30 over, um, and just uh, went stock with it. But here's what I did right here Holly Sniper EFI, which is absolutely amazing. Now, there's none of that carburetor, cold start, elevation, messing with it, or any of that stuff. So, check this out. It's just a bump and boom. Check that out. That's the coolest thing about it. This morning, my windows had frost all over them. It was 30 degrees and boom, it started right up. Now there's also been a little bit of a facelift to the Bronco. Did, I did go crazy. I want to keep this original kind of patina look, as you see here. But I did have to get a new tailgate. Mine was rusted pretty bad. I got this actually last year at the Supercell. So I got this from the Dennis Carpenter booth. And if you notice a couple of things, I put new bushings here. I got the uh, the cables right here. And also, I did the, the rubber bushings right there instead of that old, that old, the old uh, metal ones. So it's supposed to keep it a little bit quieter. Also, if you come around here, I thought that quarter panel, I did a little self-inflicted damage to it. I hit it with the trailer. There was some off-roading that happened at OCBR. And uh, somebody has spray bombed that uh, black. So it, it was not the uh, the, the original, uh, original paint on it. So anyways, had that pulled out, uh, all the dents and everything, and had it painted. So this over here, as you see, it shined up. We actually buffed it out. And that looked just like the other side. So anyways, uh, it's not as perfect as the new quarter panel, but I like it good enough. And we're gonna buff out the whole Bronco before we take it to Supercell. And also, I got a new winch bumper so there's going to be a pto bumper that's going to set right in there we're going to put that on friday i'm gonna leave out this saturday super sale starts what wednesday but uh my girlfriend and i were going to leave out saturday we're going to drop the bronco off in town send them go to nashville for a few days and come on back to the super sale but we're going to clean clean up a little bit more underneath here and detail her out before we go so uh looking forward to looking forward to seeing everybody there but like I said, the gas tank, gas lines, took off the auxiliary tank, it was leaking. And I, I still have the, uh, uh, it's the, it's uh, the gas tank on the Bronco is uh, the 13 and a half gallon from Jeff Bronco Graveyard. And uh, I may go with the 23 gallon tank later, but right now it's the uh, 13 and a half gallon and I'd replace all the uh, fuel lines up to the up to the uh, uh, the the motor, uh, the Holly Stopper has been awesome. The only complaint that I have, and it's not horrible right now, is the uh, is the pump. It makes a lot of noise um, as as it's a. Uh, you can't really tell it if you have music going and you're riding down the road, but when you stop, you hear like a humming, and so that's the uh, that's the pump. But uh, there she is. Can't wait to uh, bring her to the show, get her cleaned up, and uh, have some fun seeing my Bronco family. Hope to see everybody there. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Off Road Classics. So that's off underscore road underscore classics. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.